Final game that I'll be featuring on this demo day to, is Sandro Gomez, which seems to be a game that is very inspired off of some of the retro Castlevania games, which, as you all know, I've been chipping away at those very, uh, very sp sporadically at points, but I still enjoy them a lot. And I want to give some give some attention to games that ate that style. So yeah, this is Sandro Gomez, a son of a story, which I saw initially and I thought it looked really cool. So I wanted to give this a try. And I've been, let me tell you, I've had this on my radar for a long time as far as actual, uh, actually having it and not really getting the chance to play it. But now that I finally have the chance, I'm gonna try it now. So, yeah, we have done all of that. So options are now all good. Turned off the flash, which is a good feature. Thank you for that. So no flashing lights on this one. And yeah, it works with my 8-bit though, too, on the D-pad, no less. Choose a player. Let's try with main character, Sandro. Many come to Sonova to start new lives. Consider our tale, the Gomez family. Consider for our tale, the Gomez family. Sandro Gomez had moved out and as a homestead in a, wait, Sandro Gomez had moved out as a homestead in a small town to chase his dream of being a musician. However, to make things worse, he's in debt to the realtor. You owe me, Mr. Gomez, and your time is running out. I'm a landlord, the literally the most evil thing in any video game. Despite that, if you can find me the mystic orbs, I won't act. A cure. I won't occur further interest on your debt. <laughs> you're, no, your debt's not cleared. You're, sc you're still gonna owe me money, motherfucker. But you get me these orbs and your interest rate goes down. But only a few orbs fell from the sky this year. And others have been looking. Good luck. So with little choice, Sandro went off to find the few mystic orbs scattered across the land. But was, the t but was he too late? That's really funny to me. His whole motivation is that he doesn't want to have his interest rate go up. Heading to the village val or to Valley Village. Yeah, so you can see the Castlevania influence here. Hmm. Okay, so there's like a slight bit of uh, follow through on how. So on Sandro's run cycle. Actually, you want to know something that's nice about this? Unlike the retro Castlevania game or games, this game doesn't have a um, doesn't have a time limit, so I can actually take my time in the levels. Like the time limits in the retro Castlevania games were generous, so not too big of a deal, but still. Oh, I can do an up thing. Oh, that's, oh, it's a double jump. I thought that was a sub weapon. Oh, and it goes into a descent. That's nice. Well, so far it's charming. Graphics look good. I like the enemy designs. They're funny. Game control is fine. I'm. I'm just trying to get used to Sandro moving slightly forward whenever you're trying to bring him to a stop from walking. I'm guessing the cherries are my heels. They're hidden wall, wall cherries? No.
This is a little, this is nice and charming. Oh, okay. So you can do rapid whip hits, but only when you're really hitting an enemy. You can't just spam it no matter what. What is, oh, it's like the boot uh, power up from Mario 3. Right, Mario 3 is the one? I think it is. I'm guessing this is a really powerful stomp for, wait, hold on. Why do I have the ability, why is there arrows at the side of the, oh God. Why are there arrows on the side of the Because the arrows on the side of that is implying to me that I can change between the sub-weapons. Or the, not the sub-weapons, the upgrades that I'm using. Hmm. I have no idea. There we go. Okay, so that's what it's useful for. What's this? Oh, it's a checkpoint. Oh, it's nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so far this plays really nicely. It controls well, and everything's readable. I like this. It's cute. I like the climbing animation too. Oh, you can just spam it. And there's no currency that really, uh, or there's no limitation, I guess, on the ways that you can use this. Hmm. So this is more like getting permanent upgrades or something that you can swap between. If I can figure out how to change it. I did not mean to do that. Cool. All right, in here. Hey, the double jump. Okay, so maybe I can't change between the power-ups. Hmm, okay then. So I, so something else that I forgot to mention is that this game is actually supposed to be coming out in quarter four of 2024. So probably in December is the release time that this is planned, which, you know, so far so good. Keep an eye out for this. I, I found this really charming when I initially saw it, so I knew I wanted to keep an eye on when it's releasing. Okay, what is this one? I have no idea what this one is. Oh, I can whip and, can I do? No, I can't diagonal whip, but I can whip up and down, which is cool. Hmm, I hit A and nothing's happening. Hmm, weird. Oh, it's a wall jump. Oh. Neato. So, okay, I have to hit A next to a wall in order to do it. Ooh, and I get a little speed boost when I jump off it and land on a platform. That's nice. Cool. All right. Neato. So it seems like you just get your movement, plat uh, movement upgrades based on the uh, situation at hand. and I, I, I see what I'm supposed to do there. Hmm. Can I increase my momentum? No.
Hmm. I feel like I can do that. All right, yeah. If I get the proper amount of distance up. Damn it. Almost had it. I know what I'm supposed to do for that, though. There we go. But... Unless I get momentum going, that's not going to do much. I feel like there's something good up there to get. There we go, I can influence my momentum, just not after a certain point. There we are. Gotta swing my whip from side to side. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm done. I'm not sure what would be up there, but I think I'm done messing with that for now. Cool, though. It's a cool option. What the fuck do I do with that? Hmm. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this camera thing. I think that's a camera. It's a screen wipe, right? Yeah, I think it's a screen wipe. Oh, hello. Just what we've been looking for. Mrs. Bluebell will be so proud of us. I, I didn't see anything. Beat it! We have a mission to complete! But it was his. Look at him. He looks down on his luck. I said I didn't see anything. He looks like a total failure. That's a personal problem. Let's be fair. Do you want this? Well, come and get it. I think we already went this way. I'm the pilot here. We're listening to my Spotify playlist. But I'm sick of listening to Oasis. You'll like, you'll listen to Oasis and like it. All right, so I got to use this white uh, screen wipe wisely. Aha, so I can't attack while on that. Cool. There we go. Hold on, let's see if I can get my momentum going on this. Ah, come on. Oh, I can increase the length of my whip doing this. Oh. Cool. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. Wonderful. Like, genuinely, that's actually really nice.
All right. There we go. Uncertain if this is actually where I'm supposed to be going, but worth a look. Yeah, so far this feels really good. Not really any kind of technical issues that I'm facing either. Ooh, a rebuff on my camera. I think we should just give it to him. You know, for free. Where's the fun in that? It'd be a fun surprise. Well, now it won't be a surprise. So let's do this my way. That works for mooks. But not for... Oh, that's funny. There's actually a line of dialogue for if you try to use the screen wipe on him. Ooh, this boss theme. Ooh. I forgot I can whip up. I'm so used to Retro Castlevania not letting me whip up. There we go. Ah, for tree! We will remember this. Hooray, partial debt removal. Oh, is that the demo? Oh, it's a short one. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, I'm guessing it's short so that you can be able to try the different characters and see how things go. But I think that's, for the most part, the kind of thing you're going to expect in this. Just fun, fun concept. Uh, pretty funny idea for the main character here to just be looking for the magic orbs, not for any kind of super large purpose of trying to help with a... Uh, uh, demon invasion or anything. It's just you're in debt and you need to reduce your annual interest because your landlord's a jackass. That's funny. I like it. So I think that's probably where I'm going to stop for now as far as the demo day is concerned. We've been going for nearly five and a half hours and I am very tired and ready to stop. But I had a lot of fun doing this. So yeah, let me just go ahead and exit. We'll go over to this screen. So yeah, that was our demo day stream. First one in a very, very long time that we've done. And I have to say, it's nice to actually get to do this again. Uh, my my schedule of doing my streams, how I used to do, was got kind of changed around a lot due to the change in positions that I had. So any times where I can ever get to stream is always fun. And I appreciate you all coming by, whether it's a demo day or otherwise. But... For all of the demos that I have featured here, I really recommend you go give them a wish list. Go support the devs however you can, because indies have really been going on the up and up with how great they've come out in quality. And it's just really evident that while some AAA devs have been putting out some good releases, the indie games and all their demos and all the demos of, of stuff I've featured have really been the beating heart of the industry as far as what has been just great about gaming at large. So, yeah, that's going to be it uh, for all the demos that I've featured here for uh, for Spirit of the Samurai, Curse Breaker, The Crowned, Sandro Gomez. Please go give them a check. Go give them a, a wish list and support the devs however you're able to. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Take care of yourselves, everybody. I appreciate you all for joining me on this demo day. I'll make sure to get all these videos up on YouTube ASAP. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, hi. Uh, I think for future demo day streams, what I might do instead of having the VODs all be individual recordings like I used to, in future ones, I think I may just make the demo day streams one long stream or one long VOD of the demos being segmented. So... Yeah, because like prior demo day streams, what I had done would be 
stop it like i did it for this stream but i think for future streams i'm just going to have it be one long vod as opposed to stopping the recording then starting the recording back up for each demo that i've gone through so yeah that might that's going to be planned for the future so after future demo day streams after this one is going to be done in that format just to make it a bit easier for for uploading sake and also just easier transitions between scenes and everything. So, yeah. With that said, take care of yourselves, everybody. I appreciate you all for coming by. And stay hydrated, keep your postures checked, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.